Today we're taking a look at the Dallas Stars vs. Chicago Blackhawks match, which is happening on Tuesday, April 6, 2021 at 7.35 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. This will be the fifth time these teams play against one another as the Blackhawks have a 3-1 series lead. They will play against each other on Tuesday and Thursday. The Dallas Stars are sixth in the Central Division and are coming off a 1-0 road loss to the Carolina Panthers on Sunday. The Chicago Blackhawks are fifth in the Central Division and are on a two-game losing streak after dropping a 3-0 road game to the Nashville Predators on Saturday. A two-game winning run came to an end for the Dallas Stars, who were blanked with a count of 1-0 by the Carolina Hurricanes at PNC Arena on Sunday. Playing just 24 hours after snatching a 3-2 victory against the Canes in the same building, the Stars killed their only penalty and blocked 20 shots, but ended up being outshot 38-28 and failed to provoke Carolina to a single penalty ultimately failing to find the back of the net completely throughout the whole game for the third time this season. Jason Robertson recorded a team-high five shots on goal for Dallas, which is 2-1-1 on its current six-date road trip. The Dallas Stars will look to rebound from a narrow 1-0 loss to the Carolina Hurricanes in their last matchup. Joe Pavelski leads the Stars in scoring with 34 points including team highs of 15 goals and 19 assists while John Klingberg also has 19 assists of his own this season. Roops Hintz has 11 goals and 13 assists while Jason Robertson has 16 assists and Miro Heiskanen has 15 assists this season. As a team, Dallas is averaging 2.7 goals on 29.6 shots per game with a 25% success rate on the power play while allowing 2.5 goals on 27.5 shots with a 77.1% success rate on the park this season. Goalie Jake Odinger stopped 37 shots on Sunday to take his current performance status to 6-4-6 for the current campaign with a 2.24 GA and a .918 save percentage. Anton Kudobin though is expected back in the net for Dallas on Tuesday, having already collected a 5-7-0 pass total against the Chicago Blackhawks with a 2.58 GAA and a .922 save percentage. The Stars, meanwhile, are 11th in least goals scored per game this year, 8th in least goals conceded on average, 6th in power play and 22nd in penalty kill. The Chicago Blackhawks have been doing all right in the early stages of this season and one of the bright spots is the play of right winger Patrick Kane, who has been playing extremely well to begin the season. The team has a handful of players listed on the injury report so it will be interesting to see what their lines look like. Kane is third in the league in points and assists as he has 49 points this season and has recorded three points in his last five games played. In the last game against the Nashville Predators, he finished without a point and attempted just one shot in 21-55 on the ice. Kane has shown the ability to be one of the best players in the league and it'll be time to see if the Blackhawks can figure out a way to take advantage of one of the stronger goalie situations in the league. The Chicago Blackhawks need a win after losing four of their last five games. The Chicago Blackhawks are averaging 2.8 goals per game and are scoring on 26.7% of their power play opportunities. Alex DeBrincat leads Chicago with 19 goals. Patrick Kane has 36 assists and Dominic Kubalik has 108 shots on goal. Defensively, the Chicago Blackhawks are allowing 3.1 goals per game and are killing 74.3% of their opponent's power plays. Kevin Lankinen has given up 74 goals on 904 shots faced and Malcolm Subban has given up 32 goals on 329 shots. Kevin Lankinen has spent a majority of the season in the net for the Chicago Blackhawks this season. He was in the goal in the last game against the Nashville Predators, he allowed three goals on 21 shots in a loss to drop his record to 13-10-4 this season. The Blackhawks have allowed 122 goals this season, which is 24th in the league. They have been below average against opposing power plays as they have killed 81 of 110 of them so far this season. 
The Stars are a struggling offense so this will be a chance for the Blackhawks to show how solid they are defensively. So here are my betting suggestions for that game. The Dallas Stars are still a talented team and I know most assume they'll break out of this funk eventually, as this is a team that made the finals last season. However, the Stars continue to pile up the losses and at some point you have to see improvement before backing them. Against each other though, Dallas seems like the better choice. The team has done fairly well on its current 6-8 road trek, collecting 5 of possible 8 points, and has already triumphed on 3 of its past 5 trips to Shidown. The Blackhawks, on the other hand, have only mustered 1 victory in their most recent 5 outings and 3 wins in their very last 11 games, currently having gathered 3 losses in their past 4 domestic fixtures. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Dallas Stars minus 120. Dallas is 3-9 in their last 12 games against a team with a losing record and 8-21 in their last 29 games overall while the under is 3-0-2 in their last 5 games overall. Chicago is 1-4 in their last 5 games overall and 4-1 in their last 5 Tuesday games while the under is 5-1-1 in their last 7 games as an underdog. The underdog is 7-3 in the last 10 meetings between these two teams. The Chicago Blackhawks will be out to rebound from a 3-0 loss to Nashville in their last matchup. Patrick Kane leads the Blackhawks in scoring with 49 points including a team-high 36 assists, the same amount of assists as Alex de Brincat has points with 36 points including a team-high 19 goals along with 17 assists. Dominic Kubelik has 27 points with 12 goals and 15 assists. As a team, Chicago is averaging 2.8 goals on 28.9 shots per game with a 26.7% conversion rate on the power play while allowing 3.1 goals on 33.9 shots against with a 74.3% success rate on the penalty kill this season. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under 5.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.